Dear friends, Today, we delve into the profound truth of Scripture, exploring the significance of having faith like a mustard seed. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus speaks of this small seed, likening it to the measure of faith required to move mountains. As we unpack this analogy, may we discover the transformative power that lies within even the tiniest seed of faith. Matthew chapter 17 verse 20. He replied, Because you have so little faith. Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. The mustard seed, though small in size, carries immense potential. Likewise, our faith, no matter how small it may seem, possesses the capacity to yield great results. Jesus uses this analogy to illustrate that even the smallest measure of faith can produce extraordinary outcomes when placed in the hands of God. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Faith is not merely a passive belief, it is an active trust in God's promises. Like the mustard seed that grows into a large tree, our faith flourishes as we nurture it through prayer, study of God's word, and obedience to his will. Through faith, we confidently embrace the unseen realities of God's kingdom and his faithfulness to fulfill his word. James chapter 1 verse 6. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Doubt often creeps into our hearts, causing us to waver in our faith. Yet, Jesus calls us to steadfast belief, rooted in the assurance of his promises. Like the mustard seed that remains steadfast in its growth despite external challenges, our faith remains unwavering when anchored in the unchanging character of God. Matthew chapter 13 verse 31 32. He told them another parable, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds come and perch in its branches. Just as the mustard seed grows into a tree that provides shelter for birds, our faith has the potential to impact those around us. Through ACTS of kindness, words of encouragement, and sharing the gospel, we sow seeds of faith that can transform lives and bring others into God's kingdom. Romans chapter 10 verse 17. Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. To cultivate a faith like a mustard seed, we must immerse ourselves in God's word and spend time in his presence. Through prayer, worship, and fellowship with other believers, we nourish our faith, allowing it to grow and bear fruit in our lives. Galatians chapter 6 verse 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Just as the mustard seed takes time to grow into a tree, our faith journey requires patience. We must trust in God's perfect timing, knowing that he is at work behind the scenes, orchestrating every detail according to his plan. Even when faced with delays or apparent setbacks, we hold fast to the assurance that God's promises will come to fruition in his appointed time. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 6 7. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Just as the mustard seed withstands the elements and grows despite adversity, our faith is refined through trials. In the midst of challenges and hardships, we cling to the promise that our faith, tested by fire, will emerge stronger and more resilient. With unwavering trust in God's faithfulness, we press on, knowing that our endurance produces character and ultimately leads to hope. John chapter 15 verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit, apart from me you can do nothing. As our faith matures and bears fruit, we are called to share the blessings with others. Just as the mustard tree provides sustenance and shelter, our lives become a testimony to God's faithfulness and goodness. Through ACTS of love, generosity, and service, we extend the invitation to others to experience the abundant life found in Christ. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Like the mustard seed relinquishes control to the soil, water, and sunlight for growth, we surrender ourselves to God's sovereignty. In humility and trust, we acknowledge that his ways are higher than ours, and his plans are beyond our comprehension. By yielding our lives to his guidance and direction, we find peace and assurance in his unfailing love. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Trusting in God's sovereignty requires us to surrender control of our lives completely. Just as the mustard seed yields to the conditions necessary for its growth, we must submit ourselves entirely to God's divine will. This means letting go of our own plans, desires, and ambitions, and allowing God to direct our paths. 
It's a humbling acknowledgement that his ways are higher than ours, and his wisdom surpasses our understanding. When we relinquish control and submit to God in every aspect of our lives, he promises to guide us along straight paths, leading us toward his perfect purpose. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Just as the mustard seed grows into a tree that provides shelter and sustenance for others, our faith journey should bear witness to the transformative power of God's love. As we walk in obedience and trust, our lives become a testimony to His faithfulness, grace, and mercy. By shining the light of Christ through our words and actions, we have the opportunity to impact those around us, pointing them to the source of our hope and joy. Let us be intentional about sharing the miracle of our faith with others, so that they too may come to know and glorify our Heavenly Father. Beloved brothers and sisters, May the parable of the mustard seed serve as a reminder of the extraordinary potential found in even the smallest measure of faith. As we cultivate and nurture our faith in God, may we experience His transformative power in our lives, growing into vessels of His love, grace, and truth. Let us trust in His sovereignty, persevere through trials, and bear witness to His glory, knowing that He who began a good work in us will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. May you be strengthened and encouraged in your faith journey, as you continue to walk in obedience and surrender to our loving and faithful God. Amen.